Hello guys, what you're about to see is one free lesson from my upcoming course about structuring database with Laravel projects. And in this lesson, we will talk about custom fields. What if you want your fields to be flexible? And in this example, there's a products table with size, color, and origin. So what if you want to decide to have product attributes as a separate table to make it more flexible, to be able to add more attributes flexibly, or there is a package we will review in this lesson called Laravel Attributes to make it even more flexible with attributes with values from bar chart text and others. Is it worth it? What's the performance? We will test it out and I will give you my opinion. If you have another opinion, shoot in the comments and subscribe to the channel to be notified when that full course is launched. Now let's get to the lesson. In this lesson, let's talk about product properties or properties of any database table with a model called Entity Attribute Value Model or shorter EAV model. I will show you what it is, how it works and why you probably do not need it. And here's an example. You have a products table with some fields about properties. In this case, size, color and origin, all text fields. And in the code, the usage is very simple. You get the products and when you want to use those attributes, you just do size, color and origin, just like they are in the database. Simple, right? But what if you want to decide to implement so-called custom fields? So in the future, you may add some more attributes like manufacturer, like origin city, like company, whatever. And you want that to be flexible. So you want to be able to add a new attribute without changing database schema. Sounds like a good idea, right? But let's try it out. First, I will show you an approach without any package. And then there's a separate package, which makes it more convenient. So without any package, Schematically, schema looks like this. You create a table, for example, called product attributes. It could be product properties or whatever you call that with a foreign key to the main record, product ID, and then attribute and value or key value, both string value could be null, so nullable. And then instead of having one record of products table, you have three records or as many records as you need for properties for each product. And then your main table becomes smaller. And that's another advantage, you would think so. And then in the code, in the model you create has many relationship to product attribute, which is a model. And then in the controller, you load the products with attributes with has many relationships, so eager loading. And then in the blade, wherever you need to show them, you just list the attributes with a for each loop. And it looks pretty similar like this one. And let's take a look what queries are from the database. It's still pretty fast, one millisecond for getting the attributes and getting all the products. And it looks okay. Now the problems start when you want to query by those attributes. If you want to query the attributes from the main table, you do what? Just where size, for example, L or where origin US. If you want to query from that separate table, look what happens. Instead of having just with attributes, you have with attributes where has. So you load the relationship and then you query by two additional conditions. And by the way, did you know that where accepts array? So you can have array of conditions. So first condition is attribute means origin and value China. Now let's take a look how much it takes. So remember the query without where is one millisecond. And if we add where now it's 10 milliseconds. And let's compare that actually with directly direct competitors. So without this, we load and the query is not even one millisecond. It's less than that from the main table if we don't have attributes. And if we do have attributes, it's five milliseconds or 10 milliseconds. If we try again, now it's even 20 milliseconds. So it's much slower. And that's kind of expected. So you may use that entity attribute value model if you want more flexibility and you are okay with losing some performance. And that's general rule, almost a rule in database schema that flexibility and performance is that you choose one over another. You cannot have both in ideal world. And now let's take a look at one package which makes those attributes into a separate structure which is a bit more optimized. It's called Laravel Attributes, pretty popular. It is not very easy to install. There are a few things that you need to read and get familiar with, but generally the structure is this. I've installed that locally in the same project and attributes becomes 
a separate database table with all the attributes available and then those attributes are divided into attribute types so varchar text integer datetime and boolean values are in separate tables for performance and you need to specifically specify which types you actually use in your project so if it's varchar in my case it's varchar then all those varchars would be indexed there is an index on attribute varchar values here down below you can see that and then in theory the performance is better because there's an index on that column but let's try it out i have reseeded the database and varchar values are like this it's kind of the same as product attributes key value pair just with another relationship to what attribute it is and what entity does it belong to so that package is even more flexible than general structure for one database table now let's take a look at this performance and how it works in general this is the most simple example of that package you just get the products and you list those attributes as they were in the same table so you list the attributes you register the attributes in a separate table of attributes as i've shown you and then it's kind of like the same table performance for that in the model you need to add a trait attributable and it all kind of works now let's take a look at the queries if we refresh the page it works but there are 81 queries to the database because we don't use eager loading and to use eager loading what you need to load you can load specific size for example the attribute name and if we reload that there are 57 queries so sizes are eager loaded like this or you can use just eav name to load all the relationships all the attributes and if we reload that there are only nine queries and look what query it is get everything from products and then get attribute varchar values and there are a few more queries related to that package to get all the settings and the query performance is okay so two milliseconds is not huge but again the problems appear when you need to query by those properties by those attributes and the package offers really convenient way to query that so has attribute origin china for example it would work refresh nine queries and look how much it take for this query it's not even millisecond it's one second so it queries the product where exists varchar values this query is pretty complex and even with that index on that table it takes 71 milliseconds to get the products and one second to count the products so the performance of that package is not good by default maybe i haven't configured something maybe i could use caching to optimize that surely you can always use caching for such problems but do you really need that my overall point is that with that entity attribute value model it sounds flexible and a cool idea but it comes with many problems so you have your flexibility but with that flexibility you would need to add more work additionally to make it performant and my overall point of this like do you really really need custom fields in most cases you are okay with having another database column in the main table of products like origin id or manufacturer id and make it a foreign key so it would be indexable and have a separate table with relationship of belongs to that's of course a simplified example maybe in real case you have more complex structure and of course there's no advice on that so it's very individual but in general before considering custom fields really really think about it is it worth it it may sound flexible it may sound convenient for the future but test out the performance of your structure try to load 10,000 rows in my case it's thousand products and it's already one second on thousand product imagine if it's more than that and in general i guess my advice here before deciding on database structure try the database structure with a lot of data like seed some fake values and see how some queries perform and if you care about performance a lot entity attribute value model probably is not for you 